In this video, we'll be going over KC-135 and start procedures. The first step is to set the starter switch to start. This will allow bleed air to go to the engine starter for either an onboard APU, external ground cart, or another operating engine. Now we'll monitor the engine by watching the accelerate on the N2 gauge, which is the third gauge down on the engine instrument stack. We're looking for 25% N2, however that rarely happens, so we'll be looking for maximum motoring, which is defined as any N2 above 20%, increasing less than 1% in 5 seconds. Prior to actually adding fuel to the engine, we need to ensure that we have positive oil pressure and that the N1 is spinning in the correct direction. Ground personnel will let us know over interphone if the N1 is in fact spinning the correct direction. Once we've reached 25% or maximum motoring, the co-pilot will advance the throttle from cutoff to start. This will introduce fuel to the combustion chamber and also turn on the igniters to light off the fuel. We'll notice the EGT rises along with the fuel flow increase. We continue monitoring the engine start to make sure that the engine accelerates properly and that we don't exceed the exhaust temperature limit. The EGT limit is 725 degrees Celsius. If we begin to approach that temperature, we'll make sure to abort the start prior to exceeding the limit. The co-pilot will take the throttle and advance it over the hump to idle once the N2 reaches 50%. Now we'll take a close-up view of the engine instruments as we start the number 4 engine. Just like last time, we're looking for 25% on the N2 before adding fuel. Normally that doesn't happen though, so we'll be looking for anything above 20% increasing less than 1% in 5 seconds. So if it takes 5 seconds to go from 20 to 21%, we'd be okay to add fuel, so long as we have positive oil pressure and the N1 is spinning in the correct direction. So right now we've gone over 20% and we're just waiting for 5 seconds to pass between it getting to the next full percentage point. The first thing you'll notice is that the fuel flow will come off the zero peg. It should be between 300 and 680 pounds per hour. Shortly thereafter, the EGT should start to rise. Now you can see the exhaust gas temperature gauge is rising up. The maximum EGT for start is 725. It's very important to watch this because exceeding exhaust gas temperature limitations can cause damage to the engine that will require inspection. You notice the oil pressure is coming up and also the N1 is accelerating to ground idle. The N2 is approaching 50% at which point the co-pilot will advance the throttle to the idle range. Now we'll watch the electrical control panel as we start the number one engine. The first thing you'll notice is the IDG failure light goes out, and now we'll watch the voltage and frequency come up on that generator. The voltage will come up first into the range 200 plus or minus 10, followed by the frequency going to the range 400 plus or minus 5. Finally, the generator breaker circuit open light will go out once the generator breaker closes. That will synchronize the generator number one with number three, which is currently operating. 